Hello, my name is Josh with Sun with Pimax VR and today you're here with me in San Jose where we are setting up our new office to handle customer service, logistics, and light repairs. I'm gonna take you inside with me and give you a little bit of a tour of the inside of the facility. It's still under works, but I think the, the people are gonna be really happy with the results. So if you'll follow me. One hundred and five, IMAX Innovation Inc. Event, we're going to be covering some of the most important updates at Pimax over the last couple of months. That includes some things such as the big FOV lenses, customer service, and a few other tidbits. So let's go ahead and get started. So we will start with the big FOV lenses. I have a pair of those in front of me right now. This is one of the more recent samples that we've produced. Uh, currently, these provide a rendered FOV of about 115 degrees. Using commonly available uh, testing tools that users are uh, familiar with, I was able to achieve about 114 degrees horizontally in terms of FOV. That's going to be dependent on user's face shape, but the rendered, uh, the rendered HFOV on this particular lens right here was about 115. These are not the final version that are gonna be shipping out to customers. There's still a little bit of revision to be done. We're still sending out test units. People are just starting to get these, but these are very close to being final production and you'll probably be able to get yours very soon. Now for the 72 Hertz refresh rate. Many customers want to know why we would implement a lower refresh rate option for the crystal. The 72 Hertz refresh rate offers a lower graphical ceiling when it comes to your GPU performance. You're able to achieve that 72 Hertz refresh rate, or 36 if you have it with smart smoothing, with a lower in GPU and still have those target settings. It just saves on your PC's processing power and makes better use of the hardware you have on hand. It's another option that users can take advantage of to push their experiences up to the next level if they so choose. As for the AMD compatibility, we currently support the AMD RX 5700 XT, the RX 6700 XT, the RX 6950 XT, and the 7900 XT. All right, now for the eye tracking. It currently supports our Dynamic Foveated Rendering, DFR. Now, that functions in one of two ways. It either functions through quad views, thanks to Mbukia, M-B-U-C-C-H-I-A, or through variable rate shading. We have a Google document sheet we can drop in the description of the video below that will show you some compatibility lists. So you can check that out and see whether or not the game or experience you're interested in supports one method or the other. Now for the status of the 60G AirLink. Currently we have achieved stable transmission of 2K 60 frames per second data over the AirLink module. We are currently working on spreading out and improving that performance to 4K 60 Hertz. Combined with the dynamic foveated rendering and dynamic foveated transport, we'll be able to offer the best performance with a wireless system of this type. Now for some user reported bugs. We are aware of an audio latency bug that has been affecting some users. We are currently working on a patch for that and our testers already have a beta form of the software designed to address the issue in their hands. We're waiting for feedback and more test results before we roll that out to users all throughout the Pimaxian network. We've also heard from some users that they would like an option to improve the comfort of the crystal by further distributing the weight across the top of the head. 
In response to these requests from users, we've been developing a top strap system. Now, currently we don't have those available to show to you today. However, we do have a couple of units floating around the office and so far the reports of increased comfort have been very encouraging. Now, just something kind of fun as an aside, we have something here that's not produced by Pimax. We have this blaster right here. As you can see, we've put a crystal controller right here in the top. Now this has a force feedback mechanism that allows you to feel every time the controller is fired. I'm going to activate it with a little button right there. It comes with two modes, both uh, the standard one shot fire and automatic. Yeah. Now these are really cool, they go a long way towards making you really feel like you're in the game, especially if you've got something that allows you to take advantage of it. This one only uses one controller and there's not a lot of VR titles that support that, but still a very interesting concept and something that we're uh, interested in analyzing a little bit further. Our standalone mode, it currently supports a variety of VR applications including the Whirly Gig Media Player, X Fitness, Z Show, Voxel Fly, Frog and Froggy, 3D Mahjong, my favorite, and more. The standalone mode is based on the Android platform, very similar to other standalone units available on the market. In the future, the file manager on the Crystal will be updated to support the display and installation of APK files directly. So that'll be very interesting for those of you who want to develop and import your own applications. Another update comes in the form of our faceplates for the Crystal. As you know, our Crystal has a interchangeable faceplate system. This is our normal faceplate and we've recently began selling our Lighthouse faceplate, which enables the use of base stations as a tracking method. Currently we have a third option in development which is our mixed reality faceplate. The MR faceplate for short will allow the user to take advantage of additional cameras to see a crystal clear image of their surroundings while inside of a VR simulation. Now as for our production and shipping, currently our monthly production has reached the total of 2,000 units per month. Currently, this is enough to support both the European and U.S. markets. We do have sufficient units stocked in the U.S. and European markets to prevent the need for shipping in of customers' products from overseas. That can help reduce shipping times and reduce waiting times as well as complications that can occur due to international transport of goods. So we hope that our customers will be happy to hear that they'll have a shorter waiting time when they purchase their Pimax Crystal. As for shipping, we are offering a free insurance service. Any unit that's damaged or lost during transport will be replaced or reissued at zero cost to the user. Due to a large number of orders we've received over the last couple of months, we've received some user feedback which indicates that our customer service has been a little slower than our customers would like. We're happy to report that we are currently taking steps necessary to increase the size of our customer service staff and improve the overall efficiency of our customer service processes. We're also happy to help and assist our users with issues that are not directly related to our products, such as GPU drivers, window settings, and hardware optimizations if a customer is having trouble getting their unit set up. In the future, we plan to expand our customer service staff, especially here in the United States, to offer a more timely response to user inquiries. We'd also like to say a big thanks to our users on Reddit and Discord. They've been a fantastic help with providing some feedback and user experience when it comes to testing our products, and they also do a fantastic job of providing a level of technical support for users who are often mm, set back by how complicated PC VR can seem when you first get started. They're fantastic and uh, 
We're just really thankful to have them as part of our community. Now as a big announcement for a lot of our community, thanks to many user requests, we have been able to institute a new policy at Pimax and uh, get a new option for you. We will now be offering a one year extended warranty on our website that you could purchase for the low, low price of 150 US dollars. So that's it for our Pimax update event. We'd like to thank our customers today for tuning in and paying attention. So in conjunction with this event, we are offering a 24 hour discount of $100 on the Pimax Crystal and Crystal SIM available to users in all countries. And for those users in the UK, US, EU, Japan or Canada, we're also offering free shipping. So run out and get yourself a crystal today so you can lock yourself in that sim and master a new skill.